Hello guys, this is my first ever video that will be posted and uploaded in 2021. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. My name is Knifeless Sam. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Please hit that like button as well. And also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new freaking video. So let's get on with the video. So for this video, I specifically did a whole new video on the 2nd of January this year, 2020. Talking about my goals that I wanted to achieve in the year of 2020. So I'm going to be telling you what they were and whether or not if I achieved them or not. So the top one was to pass my drive, driving practical test, which this I will not be passing until February. It is booked at the end of Feb and hopefully, fingers crossed, I will pass it then. But lastly, for this year, I did not achieve it. So for the second one, save up for a car. I've absolutely got no chance. I did absolutely nothing responsible in order to get saving up. Third one was a house or an apartment. Obviously saving up for one of them. I'm still living at home, so clearly that's not worked out either. I did not achieve that either. And the fourth one was to upload more often. I actually have been uploading more often. Beginning of the year, from January till March, April, I think. I was uploading twice a week, and obviously now I've gone back down to once a week, and that gets uploaded every thursday at 2 p.m i might try and post it a little bit later i haven't decided yet but fingers crossed but i definitely have uploaded quite a lot of videos this year so that one i'm really proud of and the fifth one was to listen to more aud audible books um i'd like to say yes and no to that purely because i'm reading a lot more paper books than books on my ipad i just haven't been bothered to read them on my ipad but Audible, I haven't really been listening to any just because I purely forgot about it this year. I see everything, everything else with COVID and that. I've just not been bummed. So the sixth one was to concentrate on work. I can actually say I successfully did that because I am now gone from housekeeping to receptionist at my hotel job. And I'm really proud and happy to be where I am now doing that. And I'd hope to stay on there for quite, quite a few years now and just keep progressing and going from there so the seventh one was to travel the world um i'd say no i haven't really been able nobody has this year because of covid19 and everything um but i am hoping to plan and stay keep going to have a part of the world in march and then hopefully skeggy in june or july i can't really remember when it was i think we're going for about 10 days i'm going with my best friend amy but fingers crossed next year will be the year to travel fingers crossed eighth one i think i think i said eight to be more freely and independent, I like to say I have and I haven't just purely because I'm having to get lifts now to work because I'm working four eight hour shifts either in the morning or on the PM shift and obviously I'm still having to rely on lifts, cars, my dad, my sister having to take me to work. I've not really been able to get that freedom and independence. Yes, I get it on my own when I'm at work because I'm on my own on reception but other than that, yeah or no. So the ninth one is merch. I actually not long just updated my merch to a whole new company called teespring.com and the one I was using before I generally think they've shut their website down because I tried to access it the other day and it, it would not bring up any of my merch but yeah there is a whole new merch at teespring.com I think it's life dash of dash sam 12 22 can't remember but it will be in the description below so another one that I wanted to achieve this show was to get a new MacBook I like to say I didn't really need a new MacBook in the end I did have my MacBook redone. I had a whole new hard drive fitted and it's become a lot quicker now and I can use it more freedom for like editing, uploading and, and doing whatever else with the MacBook. So I don't really need one right now, but I'm happy with what I've got, but fingers crossed, maybe next year. Well, the next one after that was to meet Mr. Roy. I'm still freaking single. So the one after that was to be more creative with my photography. The only one I meant by that was on my Instagram. I do tend to to post quite a lot of photography and stuff i like to say i think my posts have been slacking a bit just purely because i've not really been going anywhere i've literally been going here at home going to work coming home going to work coming home i haven't really been anywhere interesting this year i don't I literally don't think anyone has only for the people that aren't obeying the rules of covid19 and the government guidelines but i haven't done anywhere and been able to be more creative with my photography but who knows in the future and the next one was to get a new camera this was like literally last year i went, wanted to get a new camera this year but i actually did manage to get one i think i used to film on a canon m6 i think i had my canon 80d and another one i can't remember but obviously now i have this new camera sony alpha 7 and it's freaking dope if you tell me i absolutely love it and i want to change it for the world and the last one was to stop spending. Uh, that's definitely a massive fail. 
So half of these I have achieved and half of these I haven't, but these were realistic ones for me at the time. And I still haven't achieved half of them, I think I've only achieved once. Five of them out of probably one, two, 14 of them. So complete, absolute fail. So now for my new goals for the year of 2021, I've, I've only thought of nine just purely because we don't, we can't predict what 2021 is going to be like from what it is now and it is the end of December. Nearly at the end of December, nearly Christmas, four days to Christmas. I've put on the ones that I think hopefully I can achieve, but whether or not these will be able to be met, I ain't got a clue. So the first one was to start the gym because I do want to get on a good ball and come in a better shape. I do work out from home, but I don't think they've been really effective anymore. I seem to be struggling a lot now on my workouts. Can't really get a good pump anymore, but it is what it is. Second one was to become a nicer person. I'm hoping I'll be able to achieve this just purely because I think what I was like last year, due, I think due to the breakup of my ex-boyfriend and stuff like that, I think the person also losing a, uh, an ex-best friend as well that no longer wants fuck all to do with me now. Uh, yeah, it hurts like a bitch. Um, she doesn't give two shits about me. I want to become a better person and meet better friends than the older friends I had before. But I've still got my best friend now by my side. Older best friends, they're going to have to just shove it, do one and never talk to me again because they never want to talk to me anyway. So the third one is to concentrate even more at my hotel job. This is absolutely correct purely because I was not expecting to become a receptionist ever so, ever so quick. We were told we were going to have to be waiting a while because of like the furlough schemes and stuff. We managed to, me and my sister managed to become a receptionist and it's been freaking dope. Yes we've been busy on and off because of covid and business and all this and everything else it's one step closer so the fourth one is to be more responsible with money realistically i can't see that happening but i've gonna make all the best options that i can but it might not be so bad once i pass my driving test i'm not having to pay for all the driving lessons that i'm having to do and paying off my debts so yeah fifth one is hopefully i think to go on go on my holidays basically after just said i've got two holidays coming up this year and i really want to fucking go I'm going to be really, really annoyed if I don't get to go again. Um, I don't know if I'll be booking anymore next year. I don't think we've got any chance of going on holidays again. I'll be happy if I get, even get to go to one of them. Because I don't think Harry Potter World is looking likely now. Because London is now back in tier... F has gone in now into tier 4. Which means everything's closed. You literally can't do anything right now. And we can't even go into London. People in London can't leave London, but people are still doing it anyway. Obviously, this one, six, was to pass my driving test in February, which I've just said. My driving test is booked for the end of February, and it could be delayed again. I really don't know, just purely because of the waiting list that they've got. A lot of people really want to book their tests and stuff. Fingers crossed, all going well. I might be able to pass and get a freaking full license. Seven was upload twice a week on YouTube. I actually managed to do that and I want to try and start doing it again next year in January. Upload twice a week instead of once. Like I've mentioned in previous videos I've not really been getting that support, that moral support and people liking the video. A lot of people just tend to like dislike my content for some reason. They just think it's really shit. But a lot of people say fuck the haters and I will absolutely fuck them. I'm not gonna fuck, fuck them but fuck them. I'm not even gonna give a shit about them anymore but I'm gonna try and upload better content ish if possible. Number eight was to join the team of my protein. I've been working really hard on like my Instagram and stuff to really want to become a part of the my protein team purely because they're an absolutely amazing brand. The clothing, the supplements, everything are absolutely amazing. I would love to join my protein team and become a part of it and absolutely grow and have a good connection with them. But other than that, I've really got to push myself more and try and get myself noticed and upload more on like Instagram and stuff purely because I barely post, sorry. Uh, number nine was to meet Mr. Mr. Wright. No one can predict whether I will or not. Gotta wait. And there was number 10, which I left blank just purely because I didn't know what to put. But at the moment that I've got going on is I'm not working at my Rico job at the moment purely because one, I ain't allowed. Well, a lot of people aren't allowed. Two, because spectators are not allowed to go and watch the game. So when I'll be going back, I really honestly don't have an idea and also with I've got a toe problem now it's been infected for probably quite a few months now I would love to get that sorted and never have to worry about it ever again but I've got a feeling the toe now will have to come off just to stop the infection I think other than that I think that's all my goals for 2021 if there do will be any more goals I probably will put them in the comment box any more goals that I have thought of in between editing this video and uploading it and if I generally think they'll be achievable for me to do in 2021 and then I will show it with you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, please press the like button, please subscribe, please check out my new merchandise at teespring.com. Life is Sam 22 I think. 
with dashes all in between them and yeah make sure your notification bell's turned on i'm gonna try and upload twice a week now this video will be uploaded in 2021 this will be my first video in 2021 because it's my goals from last year last year meaning this year now but i'm filming it on 2020 and then my new goals for 2021 peace you